Now to the crisis in Venezuela. Nicolás Maduro's government says it is set to receive today 300 tons of humanitarian aid from Russia. Overnight, the embattled Venezuelan leader took aim at his opposition and U.S.-backed interim president Juan Guaidó. Por ahí hay un payaso. There's a clown out there who claims to be interim president. Well, if you are interim president, the first thing he has to do or had to do is call for elections. Why hasn't he called for elections? Ask yourselves, why hasn't he called for elections? Maduro was speaking at a graduation ceremony for medical students. He also had a message for President Trump saying that training doctors was an example of real humanitarian aid that his government was bringing to the people of Venezuela. Meantime, Colombia is preparing the stage for a concert at its border with Venezuela this weekend, aiming to bring attention to Venezuela's humanitarian crisis. During his speech in West Miami-Dade Monday, President Trump asked the Venezuelan military to stand aside Saturday and let the American aid in. Yesterday, military leaders said they stand by Maduro and will only take orders from him.